Okay, so let me take that away and bring up the Android. We might need to reconnect. So let's try to make sure that we reconnect our Android and obtain the new authorization profile. So under wireless or Wi-Fi setting, let me disable Wi-Fi and re-enable. And should come right back. And let's go and wait for that on our live authentication page. And again, our Android device has been fully onboarded from our previous lab. You go obtaining IP address, give it a second, it should come in. Although it said connected already, maybe the Android, oh actually right here, the Android was reconnected while we were testing the iPhone. So it's actually sitting on the MDM no reg already. So at this point, if you go back here and bring up a browser and then trying to re-enter or access the same internal resource, we should be redirected for the MDM enrollment. So look very similar to what we saw on the iPhone. So let's go ahead and click Enroll. Again, asking us to download the Mobile Iron or Mobile at Work app. So we'll get app. And this is where it's trying to access Google Play. And since we're allowing our internet, we have no problem access Google Play. We're just gonna need to install. And Let's just say that the application will require asking for special permission just to make sure that we are aware of this. Click accept and we want to update the app. So you can see it's only 3.5 meg, so it should be pretty quick here. And it's currently installing. And now it's installed. We can click open and it's bringing up the mobile at work app. Okay, the first thing it's asking us to fill in is the server host name so that again will be lm mobileiron.labminutes.com. We'll click register. Accept certificate. Username is employee1 and the password is Cisco. Register. So it's now going through the provisioning process. Give it a couple seconds. It's now trying to push down the configuration updates. So we'll click configured. And we need to activate. And again, we'll click activate. And as part of that configuration, the app is prompting us to set the password right now. So we can click configured. It doesn't really give you any options to cancel out of that. So just go ahead and set our pin. So it must be at least four digits. So we're just gonna do the same, one, four, seven, eight. Confirm 1478. And that should be it. If you configure the server to make the apps available, you should be able to see them right here as well. But since we didn't have one configured for Android, the list is empty. So right now, if we go back to the browser and let's see if I can go back right here and click continue again to force the COA to get eyes to realize that we are now registered to MDM. Go, we have our COA, and then we have, at this time, go directly to permit all since we're in compliant. And that's because we have the pin set as part of the configuration process. Okay, so we totally skipped the non-compliant state. And now if you go back to the MDM report and click run, you can see here we have our Android with the registration status of registered, and we're also in compliant as far as the MDM, okay? So now jumping over to the mobile iron. Under device, if you refresh, you see that before we have the iPhone, but after we did the corporate wide, it, get, it gets moved under the retired devices. And now we're just left with our Android device that is in compliant. And if you go back to our Android, go back to the browser, we can try cisco.com for internet. And we can also try the internal resource, when I say 216. 32.40. You can see that we have access to those as well. All right, so now it's time to test our Android from the My Device portal. So let me make sure I refresh that. Actually, I don't think I have to. So we can try the pin lock just like how we did right here. We'll click the pin lock. It looks like I may need to refresh after all. So let's do that. Let's lock back in. All right, and for our Android, which is the EC, which you can tell by the MAC address, we can click pin lock, click OK. 
we'll jump over here, give it a couple seconds. There you go. So it just locked the screen. And now we're trying to regain the access. We now need to enter the pin. We're also going to try the corporate wipe. Click OK. And if we go back to, there you go, something just happened. So we just got locked out from the mobile iron application and we we're back where we were before the device registration. Same thing if we go back and try to access internet or internal resource, it's still working just fine. And this is because the ICE is not aware of the activity that's going on and did not send out COA. So what we need to do, same thing as what we just did for the iPhone is to mark it as lost to force the COA. And now if you're trying to access the network or the internet, looks like it's not quite done yet. Let's see, let me go back and look at right there. It should be blacklisted already. So that means if we go to cisco.com, there you go. So we just got redirected to the black hole page. So as you can see that in addition to the onboarding process for ICE, there's additional steps at the end that the user has to go through to have their devices registered to the MDM. So one thing that you might want to do is to document all these steps thoroughly. So that way you make the whole process that much easier to the user and make sure that you minimize the likelihood of the user running into any issues during the onboarding process and having to call for help. And obviously, if you don't think you have the requirement for whether the Windows onboarding or differentiated access to the network based on the device posture or compliance status, then you might not gain much benefit of the MDM and ICE integration. And in that case, you might as well continue using the MDM for the onboarding the way you're doing it already. And that wraps up our video on ICE 1.2 BYOD MTM integration. You can visit our website to view an extensive list of our lab videos and sign up to get access to additional lab contents. Thank you for watching labnews.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.